Hey, this is Primoz Lazar, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to my world, welcome to my crib. I'm an online course launch coach and I am going to introduce you to a few things that I teach and you can benefit from and also in this video I'm going to share with you my complete story of how have I become a full-time online coach and how can I share with you some golden nuggets, some cool things of how can you become one as well and you can monetize your value, your skills and you can can help other people achieve some great things in life with your gifts, with your skills, with your experts and you can also be paid for that. So subscribe to my channel so we can hang out more together and let's go dive now into some good stuff. Now the first thing, let me quickly introduce myself to you so you're gonna be more aware of an idea, who I am, what I do, where I live and so on. My name is Primoz Lazar and I'm born in Slovenia, in Europe, right? I'm 30 years old right now and I'm a full-time online coach. I needed around 3 or 4 years to become an online coach coach because prior to that I was not actually very familiar with this idea that I could actually help other people and be paid for that. Currently I do live here in my beautiful crib, a small house in village in Slovenia here in Europe, but I do travel quite some. I spent five years in Australia, I traveled a little bit across Asia as well and I traveled to America to Miami, to Hawaii, and um, then I returned back home to Slovenia here, where I got established now, because I wanted to become stable with the work that I do. But definitely, I am growing my business online now, so my plan is to travel more around the world and do more of entrepreneurial collaborations across all the world. So as you can see, I'm very entrepreneurially oriented, and I will share with you an idea now of how have I come to this point that I am an online coach and I just do this one thing for a living now and I'm paid for it. So look, I do have a story to tell, right? As I said, I'm 30 years old right now, but for me it all began when I was 20, right? So 10 years ago, I have begun my ultimate transformational journey or story of life and I'm gonna take you right now through the steps or through the milestones that I went through in life so I have become now quite a little more sophisticated in life and I can serve others well and I can also be paid for that. Look, I was a normal child, normal kid. I was a little, I was excited, right? I was um, hyperactive and um, at the same time I was also very good in school, in primary school. I had good grades, right? At that time I showed up in life quite well until someday I started um, feeling that there is something missing in me, right? So I was like 15, 16 years old, right? Going to school and this kind of, but there was always some kind of empty space there in me that I'm missing something, but I was provided with all that I need in life, right? I had great parents, I had four siblings, I had um, three brothers, and I still have, right? And one sister and life was all right for me. I was provided with all of the things and I was the best kid in the school. I had the best grades in a primary school. But then when we went to high school here in Slovenia, right? Everything fell apart for me, right? The parents didn't have control over my life anymore. The teachers didn't care, of course, right? And I have started going down south in life. I started kind of skipping school a bit, right? I started skipping school, I started hanging out with friends and um, I just kind of tried to discover something better that would fulfill me in life. So, with that said, I have lost myself completely. And I didn't make it through the high school, right? In fourth grade, I quit, right? I said, I'm not gonna go to the school anymore. And I started discovering my true self, who I really am, what I want to do in life and now here is the catch right I was pushed kind of into doing marijuana right I, I, I was against it but my friends said try 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 right and what happened was when I smoked marijuana let's say right I moved my conscious mi mind aside my rational thinking and I allowed myself my spirit my soul my emotions to come alive and I experienced my true self right and the problem is that this is illegal, right? I don't recommend anyone to do certain 
anything like drugs or anything like that because this hurts your body a lot right but i did it i did not know that so i started discovering my higher self my true self but at the same time i was already digging that hole in life right spending a lot of money um, breaking family relationships friends um, that i surrounded myself with were wrong but at the same time i was discovering that kind of what doesn't work in life right i started discovering um, the negative side of life because i went down deep right to all of the dark places with doing marijuana and i i kind of tried one or two other drugs as well but not that much luckily right and one day i found myself completely on the floor right wasted all the money my, i lived away from my family right i lost their trust and i needed to make a decision right that i'm gonna either die or something's gonna happen to me or i am gonna rebuild my life and luckily i decided that i'm gonna make something out of my life and in one or two years i have gone come back to neutral lifestyle kind of i returned some debt to my father they accepted me back home i kind of got a job but then i found myself in a situation i don't know what to do next in life right i'm bored now and at that time, I came to an idea that I would travel to Australia, right? Which was an unknown land for me. I just knew one friend there and she said, yeah, you could come. You just need a little bit of money, uh, buy an airplane ticket and also get yourself a passport and come. And I was like, okay, I do have 2000 euros that I have saved from the job that I was doing. Let's try this. Let's go. At that time, I was already familiar now a little bit about uh, how life works, right? Because through that journey of me falling completely down, right? That was, I discovered that spark within me that allowed me to know what is bad and what is good, right? And at that time, right, I became also back religious. I was born Christian, Catholic anyway, and I turned on church and uh, on the Christ and Jesus' teachings and these kind of things. And I discovered, I mean, that's my personal opinion, right? Hopefully this could help you, right? That um, this was the ultimate truth um, because when I fell down, this is the one thing that um, I was able to lean my soul on, right? This was like more as like a spiritual experience that I went through right so with that said I discovered that truth and I also discovered what it doesn't work in life now I just needed to find uh, how I am gonna make something good happen in my life for myself and that's where the Australian journey began so I pack up my bags, I pack up my computer, right? I, I packed up uh, my desktop computer with two screens and um, put them in the, the, the baggage, luggage, right? And I traveled to Australia and I come there and they are like, why are you bringing this desktop um, PC with you? Um, you are you gonna stay here? I mean, you got a tourist visa and, and blah, blah, blah. And I was so lucky that they let me into the country, right? And I landed there, right? Now, the challenge was that I was on a tourist visa, right? If you have a tourist visa, you are not allowed to work in uh, Australia or in any other country, probably as well, right? And th here is the thing, right? I wanted to make money. I wanted to stay in Australia, so I had three months to secure a student visa so I could stay there for longer, right? And this is what happened. Luckily, of course, I got an apartment and in one week I found a job, which was a car wash, that I could do there, right? And be paid cash, right? So I discovered this job and I did it for six months, right? And I was able to secure three or four thousand dollars for a student visa which I then paid and secured my student visa and I was able to become a student of Australia, right? Um, so I needed to start attending the business um, diploma college, right? So with that, I was able to stay now there for longer. I still didn't want to, didn't know what I want to do out of with my life, right? But luckily, I got across a wedding photography job, right? Because prior to that, I already was experienced with photography and filmmaking because my dad taught me, right? How to use cameras and we did this kind of work together, right? I started learning through the wedding photography work, the leadership skills, the entrepreneurial skills, customer support, customer work, and how to do some work correctly and sufficiently. But more importantly, I started learning about universal success principles because I saw that if you put an effort into something, you get stuff in return, right? And you can be paid for it, right? 
and I was like, man, these people here, they do something really well. They have a lot of clients coming in and I'm happy to be part of this journey so I can learn how the business entrepreneurial stuff actually works. And now, here is the thing, right? I became good. Right? I became quite good and sophisticated with doing the photography job and the leadership things and working with clients. And what happened was that I kind of came to this point that there was no more future for me there with that company and what to do next, right? So I came across digital marketing and I became passionate about building websites because I built some for myself already. I learned some stuff about social media and I started learning about entrepreneurship and online marketing and these kind of things. I started listening to a bunch of podcasts about uh, sales, marketing, entrepreneurship, leadership, life, business, right? Even network marketing and these kind of people relationships. So I started studying. I became aware of self-development and I have put my thought into making my self better right and I did not know what's gonna be the next thing that I'm gonna do in life but what happened at that time is I created my long lifelong vision I decided on my life goals by the way this is my vision board here so um, you know that I do have some kind of a vision board with my goals and I do plan a lot and this kind of things but at that time in Australia which was six seven years ago something like that right I decided on my life goals Right? I decided on my 30 year vision of who I want to become, what, who I want to be, because I saw in Australia what's possible, right? And here is the catch, right? So I decided, let me show you something. This is a Premium Life logo, right? That's a company's logo of mine that I have built at that time when I decided on my life goals. I said to myself, I'm gonna build a large company network of people who collaborate, support each other and grow together. I said to myself, this is the financial goal that I wanna reach and this is what kind of vision and company I wanna build and have, right? But I didn't have a clue of how I'm gonna get there. I didn't have a product yet, right? And this did not stop me. For me, the most important thing at that time that I decided on was there is a goal and there is a vision and I know it's possible because I have experienced it already right now and some things already work for me and I can get there if I want to get there. You see, for me, it all began by creating a vision, right? And I did a lot of studies. I studied Napoleon Hill's book, which was called Laws of Success, and I created an internal mindset and success program for myself, right? I was like, okay, cool, what do you need to have? You need to have a sufficient personality, you need to have the right mindset, you need to have self-control, self-esteem, enthusiasm, leadership skills to network with other people, and this kind of thing. So I studied that, and at that time, I created my first mini product, which I actually never sold thereafter yet, but it served me well. I called it a success program of some success principles. I even created like an audio program, which I still do have on my computer, right? And um, actually, in fact, l l let me give it to you to listen in right now. <laughs> so you understand what it is that I have created and studied at that time. Lesson four, self-confidence. Self-confidence is the guard of your personality and it's your business to not allow outer world control your thoughts and emotions. Believe in your decisions and practice the skills you possess to become even better in what you are doing. Right, so I was unable to sell any of these courses, programs, audio things that I have created because I was not even aware of this online coaching and course creation educational industry at that time. But I was already learning and studying some things and I said to myself, okay, I need to now discover what's that product gonna be that can take me there and through which I can build this company and create this kind of community and network of people who we support each other and grow together, right? So here is what happened next, right? I kept studying being kept learning and I wanted to get some of digital marketing um, customers there in Australia that I would build websites for or I would um, set up paid advertising for them or I would do email marketing with them because I already studied it right so I already was deciding at that time to quit photography and filmmaking right with the company and I was like how can I make some um, progress and start my own business here right in Australia 
So I started cold calling for uh, to sell my website. So I just cold calling Sydney's business owners. I was in Sydney, right? And I did not sell any of my websites. But one time then, some person called me, a friend of mine, and they said that he knows um, a business owner, right? who is a business coach and th that person might need my videography and digital marketing help and services so i got connected with this business coach there and i've seen from the inside of how coaching works right and i collaborated with that person a little bit and i was like okay cool and that person recommended to me three websites cl website clients and that's the first time ever that i was paid like 1500 or 2000 dollars for a website which was a large sum for me at that time because i always lived at the edge right with my finances but i have experienced some income and i saw okay there is this kind of high-end World, world that I can leverage and be paid from it, right? So, so I built those three websites and I collaborated with this business coach and I still did some photography gigs, right? But I just couldn't get a hold of what's next, right? I was there in Australia, far away from my home and um, I couldn't really travel all the way around. I always need to keep working and I was like, what I'm gonna do next? I don't know how to keep moving forward. Now, this is what happened. I still didn't, was not aware that I could become a coach and these kind of things, right? Um, so at that time, I just needed to go with a flow with life a little bit. So what happened was my student visa kind of expired in Australia. I mean, I could continue if I would want to, right? So I needed to leave Australia because the time was for me to move forward, right? And guess what was I thinking, right? I was aware of America already. I was aware of the United States and how big of a market it is there for entrepreneurship and all of the um, opportunities that can come from that side of the world, right? So I was like, okay, cool, let's leave Australia and let's go to America, right? So I packed up my bags, I sold some of my photography equipment, I um, paid for the ticket to Hawaii, to America, I sold my car, all these kind of things, and I left Australia. And by the way, before I go into what happens next, right, you need to also know that three months before I left Australia, I also went for a trip to Philippines and Vietnam because um, I needed to go out of the country and come back uh, to extend my visa and whatsoever. Right? And that was quite a good um, journey that I had. Um, it was just like a little bit of an off time and I worked on some of my online business stuff activities and um, created and built those three websites. And um, yeah, that's how I experienced Asia. So I came back from this Asian trip, Malaysia, Vietnam, Philippines, right? It took me um, three weeks probably. I came back to Sydney, I packed up my bags and then I left Australia, I went to Hawaii, right? And um, when I landed in Hawaii, here was the biggest catch. I just purchased a one-way ticket to America, right? And the customs, the police, the board, the board the, the guys, right? They didn't want to let me to in right into the country because I did not pay for the ticket to also go out of the country and you would need to have the in and out airplane ticket so they know that you're gonna leave the country and you're not gonna just stay there because you can't right you need to have a ticket to go out if you don't have a visa right I did not have enough money to pay the ticket to go back to Europe or to Australia or whatever so they got a hold of me and luckily I had a friend in Australia who I called and he paid for the ticket of mine like $350, right? So I secured the flight from Miami to Europe in the next three or four days, right? And um, luckily I was able to come in to America and experience it for the first time. So I spent two days here in Hawaii now, but from Hawaii I had a flight to Miami, which I already bought in before, and I went to attend the, the conference, the business growth conference from Grand Cardone, just an idea here, right? Because um, I, I, I wanted to go visit this conference for some time. So that's what, how I went and visited Miami and America at first. And I was still discovering myself. I really did not know um, what that service of mine gonna be for other entrepreneurs that um, I, I could keep doing on a long term and I could even travel from doing this service, right? But the problem was I was not able to stay there yet. Right? Because I ran out of cash and I did not have any money to purchase accommodation or whatever right to stay there. So I took actually the, that flight that my friend purchased for me from Miami back to Slovenia and I needed to return back home.
Imagine that, four or five years on the road, trying to build a better and more beautiful lifestyle and trying to succeed, and then you return back home without money. Imagine that, right? What did that do to me, right? I was like, okay, cool. I gotta accept whatever um, the experience was. I learned so much. I progressed so much, right? I returned back home to live with my family for a few months, right? And this is where uh, the good things began. That was probably four years ago, right? So when I came back to Slovenia, what I needed to do was to think, how can I become a businessman now? How can I make money for real? and use all of the skills and knowledge that I have learned and how to leverage those photography, sales, entrepreneurial skills and make something happen for me. I lived at home with my family. I did not have a job, did not have any money and I did not want to take on any job because I was a freelancer for a few years now, right? And this is how it all went. I didn't go very well with my parents at home because they just, uh, I mean, I needed to start paying the bills. So what I did was I sold one of my cameras and I rented an office, right, which was not far away from my home. So I created and built this office and uh, at least now I had some place to work from, right? And here is the catch. I started also sleeping over in this office. I built uh, like a bed for me and it was also, um, at that time it was summer, but it was going to the winter, right? So anyway, my plan was, okay, I have an office now, right? And I am gonna work and cold call and build the websites and make business happen for me. So I sold quite a few of photography and filmmaking packages and Facebook advertising. Just finished the video recording for the ad for Facebook ads for this restaurant and I started paying my bills and I um, was able to keep moving forward right with life. And then what happened was I already started learning about coaching and the online coaching industry and while I was working for local clients I was already building my first coaching program, my first course that I would want to teach to others now so they can grow their businesses, right? And to be honest, this journey was so adventurous and hard at the same time, right? The winter hit in, it was cold for me, I was hardly paying all the bills and, um, you know, a lot of tax that you need to pay to run a company in Slovenia and all these kind of things. But um, I just kept moving forward, right? I didn't even have a car, I had a motorcycle. which um, I used to go from my home to my office, right? And then one day with this motorcycle, I went to buy um, a p pizza in the big city and the police stopped me, right? And I didn't wear a helmet. And you see, I was still doing some small stupid things to just kind of break through. And they fined me like 600 euros, right? And um, luckily, I, I was able to pay this off because I just landed a big client um, for photography a few weeks before that and they just paid me. I was able to pay, pay off this fine, right? So you see, I was always moving things left and right and it, life was turbulent for me, right? And then what happened was my family already saw how well I am fighting for myself and that I really want to make something happen out of my life, right? My family saw that and they said, you know what, let us give you a car, right? So they bought a car for me and how this worked was um, my family looked forward in the future, right? And we, we are five kids, right? And what they did was they checked, you know, their net worth and how they will um, pay the money to us kids, right? After, you know, they are gone and stuff like that. So they said, okay, let us take some money out of whatever we would give you later in 30 years, right? Um, let us buy you a car because we see how well you're fighting that you want to make something out of yourself and your life. Let, let us help you. So you, you, you know, you will not get fined because you are driving a motorcycle and so that the first gift that my family now gave me right they gave me a kind of a car right and I don't tell this publicly but I want to be transparent with you and I, you need to know that I kind of deserved it in some way because I fought a lot right it's just so many circumstances that didn't work or they worked for me and stuff like that but anyway I kept moving forward right so that was the first cool thing that happened so I got a car now and then the COVID already started hitting in as well and I couldn't keep doing the local business services anymore because everything stopped. And at that time, 
this was an opportunity for me to make a commitment. Let's become an online coach now. Let's make a decision and not do anything locally anymore, which I still kept doing some local photography gigs um, through the next few years anyway, right? To support my income. But let's become an online coach and let's stop working with local business owners, building websites, digital marketing, commercial photography, filmmaking. Let's become an online coach. I made a decision and then the next cool opportunity of life happened to me. So listen, this is a really cool thing. I needed to stay somewhere. I didn't want to stay in this cheap office anymore. You know, it was cold and no bed, no living room, nothing, right? And I was like, where am I going to go now next, right? So I searched the internet a little bit and I googled for um, help on a farm, right? And I was like, oh, I, I could maybe help someone on a farm, right, or whatever. And they in exchange would give me somewhere to sleep. So I make this call to some person and in two days I go to meet with this person who we then became friends with anyway, right? And they had a vacation house in which I could sleep in and live. And in exchange, I could help them with some uh, kind of physical uh, work around the house to take care of the house in exchange. So I accepted that deal and I moved into this beautiful vacation house in nature, in village, right? And I lived there then for a year probably, right? And I made friends with the owner of the house and his uh, cousin and his friends and we became really good friends and we, we, we hanged out so well together, right? And uh, that was a really cool experience of life that happened to me. And uh, at the same time, I kept building and studying, kept building my online coaching practice and my online coaching business. And I got my first clients for 200 bucks, for 500, for 1K, for 1500. But I always kept living from bill to bill, right? I never got ahead really. But at least I got my first online coaching clients living in that vacation house. And I got paid from the online sources, which was the best thing that I have uh, achieved in life so far that I was able to be paid for my knowledge, for my skills, for my expertise. And here is the catch. I didn't really know what I'm going to offer people online, right? I mean, I had some website skills, some email marketing, Facebook ads, but none of these things I really didn't want to teach to others, right? So I was like, what I'm going to actually teach to people online? And I was like, okay, so I'm learning how to get my first higher paying clients online. Why wouldn't I just teach this same thing that I'm learning to others as well? And that worked, right? I was a few steps ahead of everyone else and um, that's how I got my first clients, right? Hey, I just learned this thing. Let me now show you how, what I have learned and what you should do, right? And then the first person believed in me, the second person believed me, the third person believed me, they paid me and I kept increasing this value that I deliver and how further ahead I am of those people who are just starting online, right? And um, my package, my course, my program, I started increasing its value and I kept being paid a little more for my packages, right? Some of the clients achieved some results, some of them didn't, right? So I kept doing this for some time and then I was like, again, stagnant a little bit, right? I did not really know what I'm gonna do next, right? I lived there for some time and the time was to move on in my life, right? So what happened was I came to an idea, I discovered this beautiful place in Spain that's called Marbella, where there are luxury real estate houses and beautiful weather. And I was like, man, what if this is the, the, the closest place for me to go to here in Europe that I could kind of try to live a little bit more of a luxury life, right? And I made a decision, I am gonna go to Spain. I left this vacation house and I went home, back home to my family. To live with them for another month or two because I did not have the money yet to leave to go to Spain, right? I again rented an office co-working space and my goal was in that one or two months my goal was how can I make three or four or five thousand dollars that I'm gonna use to make a road trip from Slovenia to Spain, right, across Italy, France and so on and um, try to make my life better there in Spain, right? So I, I went through this challenge of gathering, collecting money and making sales to make my way to go to Spain, right? I was already an online coach now and that was my offer and um, thing that I was providing others with, right? But I still needed to keep grinding, you know, booking calls, talking to people so they would pay me 
for my value for my services and the goal was let's make two or three or four or five K that I'm gonna use to fund this road trip to Spain and exactly that's what happened right I got a higher paying client for $3,500 and um, another sum of small kind of cash um, incomes from other few clients and I started my trip and go went to Spain, right? And it was a road trip. And my objective of this trip was, how can I live on, my, on the road again, right? Traveling, and how can I make money being an online coach? So while I was traveling, staying in certain hotels and Airbnbs, right? I always kept promoting my online coaching business, content marketing, conversations, DMs with people, booking calls. And I enrolled um, one, two, three, four clients also while I was on, on the road for $1,000 or, or something like that, right? Here is the catch, right? I spent these few weeks, on the six weeks altogether in Spain, and there were some opportunities for me to settle there and stay, right? And I almost made some collaborations with the real estate people. I would be helping them with video filmmaking and stuff like that. Somehow, I just couldn't make my way to stay there, right? But I called, called even in Spain a lot of people. I wanted to make relationships, but life just didn't want me to stay there in some way, right? So my family called me and I always knew that I needed to go back home anyway from this trip in a month or in two months or whatever because my brother had a wedding right and I needed to attend that wedding and also do photography and filmmaking for that wedding so I knew that I need to return back home but my family already felt my struggle or my desire of what would happen next and this is the idea that they came up with because my family saw that it would be good that I get stable somewhere because they saw how much money I spent for my trip I spent like five or six K on my trip right and they were like, look man, some things are working for you, but you need to settle. You need to have space to live in so you can comfortably, comfortably expand your business. I mean, these were not exact words of theirs, right? But I'm just paint painting to you a picture of what was the idea and mindset behind all of this, what happens next. So they were like, look, you come home from Spain, right? You're gonna attend the weddings and my family and my sister and everyone made an agreement that they would fund this house for me from the money, right, again, that um, they agreed that I would get anyway, we, we all kids would get um, after my parents, you know, go pass away and this kind of things, right? So they made an agreement, look, we want to help you because we see that you got vision, you got future, you, you are skilled, you just need more time to make it all happen. And we don't want you to keep throwing the money out of the window for your trips and for the rent that you are paying, right? We need you to get stable and uh, fix up your life and start making money. If this is some, the coaching thing is something that you desire to do, right? We need, to, we will support you. I mean, on this journey but even of course my family always was like oh get a part-time job get a job right um so you're not gonna struggle that much and but i was stubborn i was like i'm gonna make this happen i can do this and i was always bill to bill living right from paycheck to paycheck um and earning money from my coaching clients right so what happened was of course i attended the wedding here let me show you some footage that i have created for my brother's wedding here and we have already discovered this house that i have that i live in now right and um, we purchased it right it took one or two months or three months for the them to renovate it a little bit right because we paid some good money to purchase it and then we paid some extra cash for renovation so all this vacation house looks quite nice and clean right now through the next few months right of me living here I renovated I purchased the furniture painted the walls and this kind of things right but at that time for the two or three months of me waiting, right, to move into this house, I still lived with my family, right? And I did quite a few of local photography and filmmaking gigs again, and I made some good money to fund this renovation as well. And also I made some higher paying clients anyway from coaching work, right? So I kept funding this renovation as well and keep moving forward with paying my bills. And at that time, for those two or three months, I uh, physically trained a lot as well, right? So I really got in a great, awesome shape physically because I didn't have much to do in those two or three months. I put coaching like 50% aside, right? I just wanted to break through, get into my new house to get stable here, right? And I worked, uh, worked out physically a lot 
and I did some local photography and filmmaking gigs at that time, right? And then luckily one day um, in August, like a year and a half ago, I came to this house and I settled in. I slept on the floor at first, I mean, kind of, I set up the bed, right? I began this journey being my own boss now, right? And no money, to be honest, you gotta know that. I came in here with 50 bucks on my bank account. You know, I was always paying for petrol, for my car, for um, these bills, that bill. I was late with some bills, my phone. I was always on the edge for the last seven years of me going through this Australian and Slovenian and American and Asian journey, whatever I was doing, right? Always on the edge. So I come here and I was like, man, I need a client right now, right? So I kept promoting my coaching business stuff on, on social media and networking with clients. And then, in the first week, a client paid $2,000. And I used that money to buy some furniture, to fix things up. And then, again, another client paid $2,500 in a few weeks, right? And another one paid, like, went on agreement for $2,000, right? And with this money now, I kept surviving from my coaching services already in my new house. And I kept renovating it. I did, you know, painted the walls. I bought all of this furniture and I made it nice now in one year time, right? And you see my online coaching work provided me with cash to do all of this, right? I did not have a job for a long time now, of course, right? I did some photography gigs as a freelancer, right, and got paid from that, right? But this journey was long. You need to understand that this journey was not easy for me because I was alone and empty and I always kept studying how I'm going to improve my approach to coaching and um, ser business services that I do and how I'm going to make social media marketing even easier on me, right? So I kept fighting, I kept progressing and I kept studying. And now I'm at this point where I am pretty powerful online coach now. I know what I'm talking about because I have created some quite some testimonials and client successes in the past one, two or three years now, right? And I am able to teach other starting online coaches how they will approach their online coaching program or offer creation, social media marketing, content creation for client attraction, lead generation, right? How to do the sales conversations to enroll higher paying coaching clients, right? All of this knowledge, I have accumulated it through the last three years of me becoming an online coach, right? And even I do teach now how to do launches, right? How to speak to a group of potential clients at the same time, how to do this type of live classes, group workshops, challenges, right? And um, then you can allow people, those 20, 30 that attended this live workshop in a Facebook group or on Zoom, right? And you can allow them to apply into your group coaching program and enroll groups of clients into your coaching program in one shot, right? So you see, I have progressed so much now that my program is worth, for example, 3,500, right? Or even 5,500 uh, offer that I have for a group course launches, right? So you see, I never gave up. I always kept working. I fought for so long and I stuck with the vision of mine and uh, of course I did a lot of mistakes but at the same time I put a lot of good effort into all of the things that I'm doing right and the universe helped me out a little bit as well right of course my family and the things how the things um, evolved the manifestations the the lucky escapes that I went through when I ran out of money and I did not have to pay the next um, bills, the, the internet, electricity or rent or whatever, I always broke through and I kept fighting and this journey took me seven to ten years from that time when I broke down, right? And I, of course I wanted to go faster in life, right? But sometimes you need to learn and get experience and expertise first before you are able to blow up and grow like a bamboo tree, right? A bamboo tree story which I would love to tell you right now is a story of Chinese bamboo tree. You plant the seed of the Chinese bamboo tree and you water it and you water it and you water it and you keep watering it. The seed or the tree doesn't show any results for four or five years but then it grows 24 meters high in six weeks. 
So the point of this story is that I have recognized that this idea is happening to me and it happened to a few other successful entrepreneurs as well, right? That I have studied their programs. They said, I was grinding for eight years, da -da 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 -da, just kept working and doing some stuff. And then suddenly, kind of overnight, I became really successful and more successful, right? So my point is, if you are in any kind of similar situation yourself in life right now, you're working, you are not giving up on your vision, the same thing that I did, right? And you keep fighting, right? It might take a few years, right? And few, for me, it took a decade now to become kind of a, a sufficient person, right? And I still have a five year, 10 year, 20, 30 year future ahead of me of how big I want to become. And I'm small right now, no one really, kind of knows me but I still get paying clients because I work hard right so my point is right if you are in a stage of progressing and working hard and making things happen in your life right don't give up right gather the the feedback the experience the knowledge learn fight don't give up because at the end of the tunnel there is light there is opportunity for you to shine to, for your soul to come out and be bright and you being happy and, and so on, right? It's possible. I have experienced this myself. I saw it's possible. And I can see a lot of people on social media and on the internet that are doing well and living a great life. Of course, they do have their own challenges, right? But you do have a control over your life and your business and you can do this, right? You can improve it, you can build it, and you can make it happen for yourself, right? I wanted to share with you this story of mine today so that I can inspire you and you know and believe that it's possible and so that you know what type of work I do because I'm very open for building relationships online and working with clients and potentially also working with you right and help you grow your online coaching practice or create your course that you can then sell it to your social media audience right and that you can become an influencer that you can become an online coach or course creator and you can monetize your skills your gifts your expertise and um, design and live this lifestyle of your own choice that you are creating and i really wanted to put this out there for you so you feel the vibes that you feel the energy and you you have an understanding of how long my journey was to come to this point now and i never gave up i keep moving forward right and to be honest i would love to have a chat or conversation with you as well if you are on this similar journey right i do run a coaching program called premium life launchpad i also run my own podcast where we meet with other online coaching business owners and um, we share and bounce ideas i also run a daily group mastermind support group right where we help each other hold each other accountable we grow together right so you see i created this kind of environment framework through which i operate and other people can lean on as well and we can collaborate we can work together right if you um, are inspired by my vision my idea right the first thing that i want you to do is to subscribe to this youtube channel so you can see more of my appearances secondly you can visit any of my websites go to yourpremiumlife.com which is the main company's website and you can already take action from there join our facebook group join our group mastermind you can even apply for our daily support group right and i have a free master class where i show you how can you become a highly valued online coach and how to utilize social media for client attraction and building your online influence simply go to masterclass.primoslazar.com watch the video and you're gonna land in our facebook group as well where i run live classes right i'm just telling to you what you could do next right now so we can stay more connected we can hang out and we can interact because the vision is large that i have and you have your only vision probably as well right and we have a lot of work to do right and i already went through a lot of hard stuff in life and i have become so much stronger Longer now and more passionate about the things that I am doing and I do have a plan I do have frameworks vision and business work that I do now and um, I would love to hang out with you on this journey as well if you have enjoyed this conversation and this story of mine make sure to subscribe to this channel and check the description of this video down below to take action in other ways and cannot wait to hang out more with you together if you have any questions or comments just comment 
comment down below so I can uh, connect with you, reply to you and answer any questions that you have about my story and these kind of things. I am glad and I'm happy that I was able to share with you my story and how I have approached living life and building my online business. So let's stay in touch and thank you for listening in. This was Primos Lazar and have fun. Bye bye. Oops, this just needed to be put here at the end. Looks like we are taking over the world. Have a good one.